Good morning, Gracians. Welcome to our daily devotional, Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Joey, and I serve in the next-gen ministry of our church. Today, we are reflecting on Numbers chapter 19. This particular chapter, it contains the laws of purification given by God to Moses and Aaron. It details the intricate steps of preparing the water of purification using the ashes of a burnt red calf, which is a young cow. The community of Israel would then use this special water for the removal of sin. As I reflect upon this chapter, the key verse that stood out to me was verse 2b. So let me read it for you. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Tell the people of Israel to bring you a red heifer, a perfect animal that has no defects and has never been yoked to a plow. Now, did you know that everyone involved in preparing this cleansing water actually becomes ceremonially unclean? The priest presiding over the animal slaughter, the man who burns it, and the one who gathers its ashes. Moreover, a perfectly fine young cow had to be sacrificed. As with many other chapters in Numbers, I am astonished at the amount of effort and time and the detailed number of steps it took for someone who has handled a corpse to purify himself or herself with this specially prepared water. Now, something I didn't really enjoy doing in national service was to polish my boots. After using water to clean off dirt and mud, I had to apply multiple layers of shoe polish on it. You know, everybody would know it as kiwi. And to get it from brush shine to mirror shine, I had to change from using a brush to using a cloth to polish it like that. And by the time I'm done, my hands were so blackened with polish stains that even the strongest soap couldn't get me clean unless I scrubbed my hands real hard. What an irony that in order to clean something like my boots, something else like my hands had to be dirty. Now think about it. In order for something to be physically clean, a cleaning agent is normally required. Usually, you need water and soap to bathe, do laundry, wash dishes, or just clean about anything. But for spiritual cleansing, you need more than just water and soap. Something or someone, innocent and perfect, has to die in order for someone guilty and imperfect to live on in God's presence. It's a good thing today that whenever we think of Red Bull, we don't think about killing and burning a young calf. But imagine if we had to adhere to these mind-boggling instructions on purification. That is why I thank God for the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross that has taken away our sins once and for all. Our response then to the grace of God is to regularly confess our sins, receive His forgiveness and cleansing, and repent from what displeases God. Let me pray with all of us today. Heavenly Father, Remind us that Jesus is far more than a red heifer and that the Word of God cleanses us better than water and ashes. Teach us to come before you with humility and sincerity whenever your Holy Spirit convicts us of our sins. Thank you, Lord, for releasing forgiveness into our lives every time we confess where we've gone wrong. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Do check out the reflection questions I've prepared for you and your family. Have a blessed week ahead. And for your health's sake, please don't drink too much Red Bull. We look forward to seeing you soon. Join us at Grace every morning.